hey welcome back everyone in our last video we looked into who actually a data scientist is what is machine learning and what is one of the practical applications of machine learning in our real life scenario but we ever wondered why actually you should be learning about data yes we have looked into the importance of machine learning in the industry or the importance of data scientists in the industry but why exactly do we need someone to manage our data so before knowing about that let's know about what actually is data what's data data is different types of information that we gather or companies gather from right now what you are listening is also a form of data uh, your data forms can be of information it can be of videos it can be in the uh, type of text numbers anything your age let's say you are filling a forms so over there you have to mention your name your address your phone number your email address all of those what you have written over there is a form of data if you are recording out any video that is also a form of data anything you do anything that tells me about you any information that you are giving that is a form of data so that's about data now let me go through you with some of the stats that you would love the data volumes are exploding a lot what i mean by exploding it's been a massive boom data is growing faster than ever and ever like by the year 2020 about 1.7 megabytes of new information was created every second for every human being on the plane so that's the amount of massive amount of data so in the past two years we have collected so much of data that in the entire history have been collected so in the past two years then in the entire previous history of human race we have collected so much massive amount of data every second we create new data for example we perform 400 search queries every second that is 1.2 trillion searches per year data is going massively in august 2015 over 1.5 billion people used facebook in a single day and that was in august 2015 just think of the ratio in 2021 or 2022 Facebook users send an average of 31.25 million messages and view 2.77 million videos every minute. That is so much amount of data that we are collecting from the users that different companies are taking data from you. And a company needs your data to survive. Even Google is collecting so much amount of data. Every button you click has stored in somewhere in the Google database. And from that, they are making their system more usable more interactive more helpful data is everything in short we live in a data driven society in where each and every moment you are collecting out data for us now 73 percent of the organizations have already invested or plan to invest in big data by 2016 currently in 2021 it's almost 86 percent there's a less gap of 15 to 14%, but they have already shifted out. What is big data? That large amount of chunks of data that we are talking about, we have coined it or termed it as big data. So, and one of my favorite facts that you should be knowing at this moment, less than 0.5% of all the data is ever analyzed and used. Just imagine the potential in the data field. So less than one percent of the data is being analyzed we have massive amounts of data and we have very few people to manage all of these that is where you and i come can come into play these are some of the scopes of data lovers you can be a data scientist a data engineer data architect big data engineer ba specialist uh, data visualization developer, BI engineer, BI specialist, analytics manager, statistician. These are only some of the things that you can learn. In all of these, one thing that you should be knowing out is machine learning. Machine learning is something from where you can teach your machines to learn from the data that users are generating and predict out something. So let's jump into machine learning from our next video.